these are all spiders that I've found around the house and very struck by the, the diversity of what is here. The white porch spider, found it by the front door. So my parents have lived in the same house my entire life and walking back through this garden brings me memories of being terrified as a child but then seeing how this interest has grown and grown it has turned from this absolute fear to an obsession it's like they have taken over my life in a little spidery sort of way we've even got a resident car spider so this is my parents car it is a starlet and the spider's name is star and she's been in this car for a few months now. I hated spiders as a kid. When I was five, whenever I saw a spider, I would scream and I would run into the house and hide. I started studying animal behavior at the university. Professor Robert Jackson began telling us about spiders. And I said to my friend, why would anyone study spiders? I had it in my mind that only an animal with a big brain could be of interest. But they could make plans, they could deceive their prey. These spiders could actually do these things that you'd expect a bigger animal to do. And when I heard about a spider in Kenya that preys by preference on mosquitoes, I said, this is very interesting. My mother was born in Zambia. She nearly died of malaria. And that is the very spider that took me to Kenya. I've been in Kenya nine times now. There are also spider-eating spiders called Portia. They're found in Africa, Asia, and Australia. Long history of working on them in the lab. When you start looking for spiders, you start seeing these other little worlds. When I was growing up, so I didn't have someone who really encouraged me in science until I was about 16. And then I had a teacher who went through it with me, and then I realized I could do it. There's so much around the world that is of interest.